Hey guys, James here today and welcome to another Sims 4 house building video. Today we're building Lady Big Wallet's dream home. So if you haven't been keeping up with my Sims 4 Get to Work Rags to Riches series, uh, my, my character in that is called Lady Big Wallet. Uh, she worked her way up from exactly zero simoleons all the way up to hundreds of thousands of them. And uh, she's finally ready to actually live in a home because uh, so far she's only been running a store and living at the store. Uh, granted, she does have a nice little apartment at the store, but she needs a proper home, a proper fancy home uh, for someone as classy as Lady Big Wallet herself. Uh, so that's what I'm building today. A beautiful Victorian home uh, for her. Uh, I mean, that's about as simple as it gets. Real, I mean, not. I mean, the house isn't simple, but I mean, as, as the introduction, that's as simple as the introduction gets. Uh, so yeah, we're building a house for her. Uh, the budget I'm trying to aim for is around about 100,000 simoleons, because that's how much she's got on her at the moment, so we could purchase it right away. Um, but I don't think I'm going to meet that goal at all. So we'll probably have to earn a little bit more money before we actually purchase this. Uh, because this is, uh, and you can see right now, by the way, a little bit of a tangent. Trying to fix the room there. Uh, that little diagonal pop out wasn't acting. It wasn't becoming part of the the main room uh, of the build, so it was kind of glitching out. So I was just trying to fix that. Um, and I'm actually using walls here to create the the sort of roof of the balcony. There works much better than trying to place flooring. Anyways, as I was trying to say, uh, I don't know what I was actually saying now because I went on a complete tangent about the wall. But uh, yeah, so this is a home for her. Uh, and it will be awesome. No, I actually don't know. I was trying to stall, trying to remember what I was going to say. Uh, anyways, I, I was actually really kind of annoyed that, uh, what I'm doing right here is I was trying to make like a little balcony on the front here with a, uh, with a low porch roof, but you can't replace a, a roof wall with a fence. It just won't let you, uh, as you may have seen, I was trying to do, and it, it just wouldn't let me have a fence there. So I either have somewhat looking a hole kind of thing looking in the <laughs> from the roof it just looks like there's a, a random cutout uh, or nothing at all but I, I did want a little balcony at the front there uh, so I, I just left like a little cutout in the roof it's kind of a shame that I couldn't do a fence there it would have been a nice little detail um, because especially with Victorian homes I like to just add as much detail as I can possibly fit in because they are in, they have incredible details in real life and they just look fantastic. Uh, but you can only do so much in The Sims, so I did my best. Uh, added lots of crazy little levels. Like this is a three level home. Um, so we have like the, the sort of two main floors and then we have this sort of attic level at the top that I'm just trying to fit in now. I'm trying to fit it in and blend it in with the roof so it sort of looks like it's uh, kind of supposed to be there and kind of organically uh, fitting into the roof space, or at least that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, and so trying to get that to fit in again, I was trying to do another balcony there, but I couldn't like, you can't just have a balcony. Uh, so I, I had to replace all the roof so that it would actually exist. So I could actually have a balcony that exists there. Then I extended the size of this little attic space. So we actually have a decent sized room up there. What I'm planning to use that for is because, okay, so if you don't watch the Rags of Riches series, Lady Big Wallet, she is a fantastic artist. She does a lot of paintings. And I want to turn that attic space into her art studio that she can use. So she'll be able to go up to the top level. I have a beautiful view out at the back there with some uh, nice big glass doors slash windows. Uh, and, and just paint from reference looking out the, uh, the back porch. I thought that'd be a great spot for that. Um, so yeah, this house is going to be tailored toward her. Uh, she's currently, uh, obviously it's a single sim at the moment. Uh, so it won't be, this house won't be necessarily furnished for a family. Uh, and it, it, it will, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. This is only part one. Uh, and the reason I did this in, well, that I am doing this in two parts is so that those of you watching on the day that I post this, so if this is like two days after or even sometime in the future, if, if, then don't worry about this. But those of you watching at the day that I post this video, I would love to get your feedback on where we take, uh, the house in the second part. Like if there's any changes you want to see, uh, before I continue, let me know because I mean, this house is as much mine and Lady Big Wallace as it is you, uh, because you're watching this video and you've watched the series. You watched her go from living on the streets to being a hundred thousand hour. That's not really a thing, but you know, she's, she'd come a long way and it's been a long journey. Uh, for, and you guys have been here all the way. Uh, well, maybe some of you haven't. You might just be watching this video randomly on YouTube, in which case this makes no sense to you. But those that have been there all of the way, uh, I would love to get your feedback on this house. Because I, I mean, I'm just... 
building it. Um, and now I, I have also, and this is something that's going to come after Lady moves in. Uh, you'll notice, and yeah, here again, I'm trying to fix the sort of glitchy interior. The roof was coming through. Uh, fix it in the end. Um, yeah, no, uh, so I've left most of the walls in the house blank in that. I haven't put any paintings or, or sort of pictures up on the wall because... As I was mentioning earlier, Lady is a fantastic artist and we're going to get her to paint a bunch of stuff and we're going to use those to decorate the walls. So uh, keep that in mind once we start furnishing the interior, the walls are kind of blank uh, and that, that's on purpose so that we can decorate it later on. Uh, but yeah, feel free to give your feedback on uh, the, like the color of the house. Like I've got this light kind of blue uh, and the color of the roof or anything like that. Just leave it down below uh, and then I'll probably try and incorporate some popular suggestions uh, and to be fair, um, I, I didn't really, I, I'm not that up to scratch with my Victorian furnishing knowledge. So it may not be the best furnishing in the world, but at the end of the day, I mean, I'm happy with it. So <laughs> that, that'll, that'll be good. Cause I mean, this is, this is for a let's play anyways. It's not particularly for, uh, you guys to be downloading and playing with, but of course I will chuck this up on the gallery, uh, at the end of part two. So when you check out part two, the download link will be in that one. Uh, or unless we don't finish it in part two, but probably will. Uh, I mean, I don't see why not. Um, but anyways, yeah, in part two, I'll put the download link there. But it, it, just keep in mind, it's not really... This is going to be completely tailored toward uh, this particular sim. Uh, but yeah, so going around putting windows in. Uh, it's kind of annoying, though. You'll see on that where we've got this little porch on the front of the house that the windows actually just disappear. And I, I, I realized if I remove that roof, the windows appear. Put it back, windows disappear. I don't know. Game is glitching. It's doing what it wants, what it really, really wants, and that's not what I want, what I want, and what I want. I want a hut. I want a... I don't know. <laughs> Other Spice Girls lyrics, I don't know. Uh, something along those lines. Um, anyways, yeah, going around, getting all the windows in. Now, I did... Um, and I haven't done it yet. Uh, so we've got all these columns and all these spandrels around the porch. Uh, I was... I want to put... Well, I wanted to put columns on the corner of uh, certain exterior walls, uh, to add a little bit of detail. I do that later because there's actually a glitch in the game where if you have a column on a, a, a wall segment, uh, so it's like actually placed on the wall, and then you start messing around with rooms on the inside like I am now, so I'm making rooms, the columns sometimes flip and they flip to the inside of the house. And it actually happens to one of them. Um, I don't know where it is. You might. Oh, there it is. If you look in the... Okay, well, I'm rotating too much. It's kind of hard to describe where it is. You, you'll see me move it. It's in, it's in the front left room at the moment uh oh no wait maybe it's not maybe i've already moved no there it is there i just moved it <laughs> it's so hard to describe anyways yeah no so the problem with that is like if you if i went around and placed a bunch of columns on all the exterior walls sometimes they flip inside so then you got to go around and do it again so i actually left that till the end uh, after i've made all the rooms uh so i'm actually going ahead and stacking some stairs here now uh what i didn't know is like the game doesn't inherently let you put a set of stairs over the top of another set of stairs uh if it has like a if it, if it has walls around the stairs it won't let you place them above other ones so what you actually got to do is place the upper stairs first delete the wall on the stairs then place the stairs underneath uh it's kind of a i don't know like it's it's a weird sort of little quirk about it um and i think some people have mentioned that to me before like they've said i don't know how to do like uh stacked stairs um, so that's a handy little hint in case you're wondering. Uh, anyways, going around adding, like I said, adding plenty of details to the exterior, getting a bunch of, uh, sort of freezers. Actually, those are, those are actually floor trims I'm using because the freezers wouldn't fit because we're using the smallest wall hat. Also getting some roof trims on now, again, adding some more detail to the exterior. Uh, on the upper level, just adding some flooring so that I could get, again, get the sort of floor trim going around because there wasn't enough room for an actual freeze. So we're just using floor trims instead. Uh, getting plenty of white trims, and we go for some beautiful dark hardwood floorings uh, throughout the house, uh, using those ones there. Uh, keeping it pretty simple in terms of, I mean, the flooring. Getting some traditional sort of uh, tiles, you'll see in a minute. Uh, yeah, traditional sort of tiles for the kitchen. Uh, what I actually decided to do, instead of going for a completely sort of traditional layout, because, I mean, 
the the kitchen wouldn't be open plan like i have done it in here uh so because i mean normally the kitchen in a house like this would be in a separate room then you have the dining room separate all that kind of stuff but i decided i would open up the kitchen uh to the dining room uh maybe imagining that she had renovated that knock down the wall and just make a bigger room because it's a little bit nicer than having separate rooms for everything i do have those two front living rooms though those are two separate rooms and everything else is pretty much separate uh because open plan is not really in the nature of this house. I guess we could renovate it in the series. Uh, there's nothing stopping us from doing that and renovating it into a somewhat modern house. I don't know. We could do some weird uh, Victorian modern combination, some Frankenhouse kind of thing. That could be fun. Ooh. Hey, that would be fun. We could chuck on like a modern renovation at the back, like like ultra modern at the back. And it, oh, it'd be ridiculous. We could do that. But not not for this uh, initial house build. The initial house build, we'll try and keep it as sort of uh, on point as possible with the, the sort of style that we're going after here. Uh, just doing a, a minor bit of landscaping. That's pretty much all the landscaping I do in this part. Uh, saving that for part two, uh, just because I wasn't really focusing on that this time i just wanted to add those hedges in to see what the front would look like uh chucking those on as well making it look pretty good uh now i i didn't actually mention this i guess i i, I, th I think i forgot to mention it but uh I often will find a picture on Google Images. If you've ever watched that sort of house building video of mine, I, I often mention this. I'll, I'll go Google image search a house and I'll, I'll tend to look at the front of the house, just the front and try and replicate that or modify it slightly uh, because I find it's a good starting point. Uh, so, I mean, a lot of the time I will just completely make up a house, but when it's a style of house that I'm not too comfortable with, such as Victorian, I'm not that comfortable with creating a Victorian house uh, off the cuff. I will go to Google Images, find a house facade, and then sort of replicate the facade of the house, and then imagine what the rest of the house would look like. So I think if you search Victorian house in Google Images, it'll be somewhere there. You'll see the front of the house is somewhat similar. It's not identical, but mainly because you can't really replicate real world houses in The Sims that well. And also because I don't like to do carbon copies of things um but anyway so i've used the front of the house or the like the likeness of the front of the house and then i've sort of imagined what the rest of the house would look like i find that's a really good way to get started if you're having a, a tough time sort of trying to build a house or trying to get started building just google the house style you're trying to go for look at the facade of a house, just pick one that you like, and then you could even just like like I did, just replicate the front of it, and then imagine what the rest of the house would look like based on that. I find that's a really good starting point uh, when you're having troubles. Uh, because I didn't really know where to start with this, so I I looked at that image and away I went. So I found that, yeah, I found that's a good way to, to get going. Uh, but we're in the kitchen now, going for a pretty funky black and white styling here. Got black cabinets, white countertops, and white cabinets up the top. I thought it looked kind of cool. I mean, I guess that kitchen, the styling of it isn't necessarily traditional. But to be fair, this is the, like like I air quoted, the renovated room of the house where she's knocked down a wall and uh, made some changes. So let's just imagine she's made a few changes to the kitchen. Because the kitchen, I definitely wouldn't say the style of it is, uh, is very traditional. Probably dark woods would be much more traditional uh, than the black cabinets. But she, she could have painted them. Uh, she liked it. She liked a little bit of a change. Uh, so just finishing this dining area here. Just finding, trying to find some things to, uh, to put in here. I didn't really go that uh, overboard with decorations. Like I said, we're going to come through uh, in the series, uh, in the Let's Play series, and uh, put her paintings up around the house and that kind of stuff. So, uh, you'll yeah, again, you'll notice the walls I'm leaving fairly blank. I was very tempted to put up uh, paintings and pictures and wall decorations because I was like, oh, these walls, they're, they're feeling really, really blank to me. I wanted to put something up, but I was like, no, no, we're saving it for the series. That's what it's for. We're leaving the walls intentionally blank, but I couldn't help myself. But I did help myself because I didn't put any paintings up. Anyways, getting a little fruit bowl there. Uh, and we had a little knife block on the counters over there as well. Uh, keeping it pretty simple. She's got a pretty big house. Uh, for just herself, but of course, in the Let's Play, we'll we'll find her a partner and uh, obviously try and start a family. Try and start a family. So we've got the downstairs bathrooms. This house is actually going to have three bathroom, three bedrooms, three bathrooms. Um, I was going to do four bedrooms, three bathrooms. Like I was going to make that attic space a bedroom, but then I was like, hang on, that would be make a really good 
art studio, as I was saying earlier, because it's such a good space for that. Um, but then I guess if, if you downloaded this house and used it for your own Sims, you could use that sort of attic as a fourth bedroom, uh, as for like, like a teenager's retreat kind of place up the top there. So you could have their bed up there. Could even probably try and squeeze a small bathroom up there. But I guess there's no point because there are three bathrooms already in the house. Uh, it's a, it's a pretty lavish house anyways, is, is what I'm, um, going on about here. And, uh, when we turn it into a Franken house... And uh, add on an ultra modern extension. That'll be that'll be fun. I actually want to try that just to see what it looks like. Uh, we'll definitely explore that in the uh, the upcoming Let's Play series, I think, uh, and see how it goes. It'll just be a bit of fun, really. <laughs> just be a bit of fun. Uh, so just getting some uh, window dressings in here now. A little bit of privacy, you know. You don't want peeping toms looking through the windows because uh, it can be a little bit disturbing at times. And uh, I, I mean, me personally, I don't really want people looking through my bathroom window when I'm in there. I don't know, maybe some, well, some people, hey, some people are exhibition, exhibitionists. Uh, I am not, I'm not judging. I, I just would rather have the option of closing the curtains uh, than uh, not. So we'll put the curtains up. You can leave them open if you want, but uh, uh, we've got them up. Uh, anyways, so we've got these two living rooms at the front here. Uh, fairly formal furnishings. Um, I was gonna make this one just a formal dining room with no dining room, formal lounge room with no, with, with nothing but seating really. But then I was like, you know what? No, no, this is the 21st century. Let's smack a giant ass TV in there instead, uh, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, but then the other, the other living space is just a sitting area and nothing more. Uh, the, only because this one was the bigger living area. So I was like, okay, well, let's chuck the giant TV in here. On the little coffee table. It's like, it's such a formal setting. And then there's just this giant flat screen TV in it. It's great. Um, and just getting some little bookcases in the corner there. Oh, not in the corner, on the little wall. Uh, I was trying to find a nice little combination here. So we could have two taller bookcases on the side. A small one in the middle. And that actually seemed to work pretty well, I think. It, it just fills in that space quite nicely. You can grab a book, sit down, and have a good read. If you wanted. Uh, again, the walls... Oh, the walls are really bothering me because they're so blank. Normally, I'd chuck, like, paintings up there and mirrors and all that kind of cool stuff. But then I was like, no, we'll uh, we'll put our own paintings up there later. Uh, so this is the little study room that comes off the kitchen dining area. I decided to splurge out and get that, that cool uh, new chair from Get to Work. I love that little uh, sort of plasticky chair uh or well, whatever it's made out of, that little transparent chair. I think it looks awesome. I know it totally doesn't go with the style of the house at all, but, you know, again, it's tailored towards the lady. She likes a good fancy chair here and there. Uh, she's definitely earned it, and so I put it in there. I don't know. I enjoyed it, so I chucked it in there. Um, all right, moving on to the final room on the ground floor. I was going to make it a piano room, but then I was like, no, that's just stupid. The piano is far too big. If they had uh, just an upright piano, that would be that'd be mint. If I don't know why is there no is wait is there a keyboard in this game? I don't know. I didn't think so. Is there? Maybe there is. But there's no there's no upright uh, piano. That would be nice. And uh, I don't know. They just have giant. That's like some of the items in this game are absolutely massive. Like all the uh, like the telescope and the microscope. Like why are they so big? Why are there no normal telescopes and normal microscope? <laughs> I don't get it. <sighs> Anyways, uh, furnishing this little room out uh, again. I wanted to put stuff on the walls, but I was like, okay, well let's compromise. Just put one mirror. Uh, but that pretty much does it here for part one. We'll look at just a couple of screenshots of the exterior. Uh, and then either tomorrow or the day after. I'm not sure when the next part will be up. But uh, leave your feedback down below. Any changes you want to see. Uh, any additions or any feedback really. And uh, we'll address it in part two. And uh, put up a download link at the end of that part. But thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day. Bye.